This series is about resource management on board ship. The aim of resource management is to make the most of the available resources. These resources include yourself, your colleagues and your equipment. This video is going to examine some of the background to human resource management. Other videos in this series will look at specific jobs on board and discuss how they can be better carried out with good resource management. Whether using an ECDIS or paper charts, always prepare for the unexpected. What would happen if there was an engine or steering failure at the critical moment in the voyage? What information would you want immediately to hand if you were on watch? A good voyage plan is essential for a safe and efficient voyage. It needs to be prepared well in advance. Once underway, it's important that the watchkeeping officers put into practice good resource management while they compare the progress of the voyage against the voyage plan. The watchkeeping officer must ensure that the ship never runs aground, nor has a collision. This means always knowing the ship's situation and keeping a good lookout. This task requires good training, a high standard of skills and effective time management. How this can be best achieved is the subject of this video. The primary responsibility of the duty engineer is the safe and efficient management of the main engine and ancillary equipment. To do this effectively requires a good knowledge of the engine room layout, its machinery, equipment and pipeline systems. It requires a good awareness of what is going on in the machinery spaces at all times. A good relationship between the pilot and the bridge team is the best basis for a safe passage through busy, confined and potentially hazardous waters. Both sides require tact, honesty and mutual respect to form a good working relationship as quickly as possible. The bridge team must always bear in mind that the presence of the pilot on the bridge does not relieve them of their responsibilities. Good resource management is important to all seafarers at all times. It means doing what you can to get the best from yourself, your colleagues and your equipment on board. There are many things involved, but important things to remember are First, always know your ship. Secondly, always maintain a good situational awareness. This video includes reconstructions of five situations on the bridge where errors occurred in navigation. The geographical locations are not important. Similar situations can arise on ships anywhere. The objective is to discuss what went wrong and how it might be avoided. Useful information can be found in the workbook, which is an essential part of this training package. Remember, by calmly following established procedures, you can help to contain and even stop an incident developing. You can make a difference. Resource management is important to all seafarers in helping them work effectively in all situations.